answers. As you well know, uh, the Democrats held two debates this past week, and they said for all of the president's bragging about a strong U.S. economy, that it isn't working for all Americans. Take a look. When you've got an economy that does great for those with money and isn't doing great for everyone else, that is corruption, pure and simple. We need to call it out. We need to attack it head on. How do you respond to that? You know, I just don't understand um, in general. I, I hear, I've seen some of this, I hear some of their policies, I hear some of their narrative. I don't understand what planet they're describing. The United States economy is booming. Uh, it's running at th roughly 3% uh, average since President Trump took office two and a half years ago. On this business about um, bad distribution, the blue collar workers, the non supervisory workers, have done the best. They're the ones running wages at three and a half percent. Their growth in incomes and wages is exceeding the growth of their supervisors. The unemployment rate is low. We just had the best June stock market, the Dow Jones, in over 80 years. That's going to fill up the 401ks of middle class folks but, everywhere. But, but let me um, let me pick up on. Let me just pick up. I just don't I don't understand. But I don't understand. I mean, this is very important. These are factual issues. OK, I understand that there's a political spin, but these are factual, factual, <laughs> measurable uh, areas. And I would just say I do not understand their narrative. We are in a strong prosperity but, cycle. but Larry, let me let me and let me interrupt let, let me interrupt your camp Chris let me interrupt your campaign speech I don't think you would disagree not a campaign speech it's a f I'm citing facts and figures my friend I, I, I I'm all I'm saying is this I don't think there's any question you would agree and uh, there are and I'm gonna be talking with Tom Perez later about the economic record but there is clearly a stark income inequality in this country Bernie Sanders press that point take a look at a time when we have three people in this country owning more wealth than the bottom half of America, while 500,000 people are sleeping out on the streets today, we think it is time for change, real change. I got 30 seconds for an answer. If President Trump is reelected in 2020, what specifically will he do to reduce, not eliminate, but to reduce the huge gap between the wealthy and the poor in this country? Look, the, what we're doing right now, we've got, again, I'll repeat this, the best manufacturing autos, blue collar work recovery, the fastest increase in jobs, the fastest increase in wages. Those are facts. We've seen this is, goes on for many decades, the best performance. I do not know what some of the candidates are saying. I don't know what their factual basis is. Economic growth, a strong and durable prosperity cycle. And I will make this warning. Some of the policies I've heard in some of these early debates, in my judgment, would do great, great damage to this prosperity and jobs and in income and wage cycle that we are experiencing. So somebody's got to do a little bit of fact checking here on what some of these candidates are saying. I would simply say this, the economy is strong. The narrative I'm hearing from the other side, it just ain't so. Larry Kudlow, thank you. Thanks for your time. Always good to talk with you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Up next, we'll bring in our Sunday group to discuss the president's meeting with Kim Jong-un.